How sound is produced. Sound is a form of energy. When you round a bell, pluck the strings of the guitar, and tap the drum, you heard different sounds. You observe that objects move back and forth when they make a sound. This movement is called vibration. You hear sound when things vibrate. Without vibration, there will be no sound. Loudness. Many things make sounds. Some sounds are soft while others are loud. When you struck the objects lightly, they produced soft sounds. When you struck them hard, loud sounds were produced. Did you notice that the sound was louder when you exerted more force? The loudness or softness of a sound is called volume. The harder you tap the drum, the more it will vibrate. The more an object vibrates, the louder the sound will be. The greater the energy used in producing sound, the louder is the sound produced. Look at the picture of the two drums. If you play with them, which one will produce a louder sound? Why? The loudness of sound also depends on the size of the vibrating object. The large drum produces a louder sound than the small drum. Why is this so? A large object causes more air to vibrate than a small one. When more air vibrates, a louder sound is produced. Pitch Pitch describes how high or low a sound is. Objects that vibrate slowly produce sounds with a low pitch. Look at the picture of the two guitars. If you strum the guitar with short strings, what kind of pitch will it produce? If you strum the guitar with long strings, what kind of pitch will it produce? Compare the pitch produced by the two guitars. Which one produces a high pitch? The one with short strings or the one with long strings? Pitch is determined by the length of the vibrating object. Short strings vibrate more quickly than long strings. The shorter the vibrating object, the higher the pitch is. The longer the vibrating object, the lower the pitch is. Uses of sounds Here are some uses of sound in our daily activities. Sound makes us aware of what is happening around us like the emergency sound of an ambulance siren and fire truck horn. The sound of music and human laughter can inspire people to do something for others. Ultrasound used in the medical field sends sound waves into a person's body to provide digital images of what is inside for disease diagnosis or to check the condition of the fetus in pregnant women. When is sound considered noise? An unpleasant or annoying sound is called noise. Noise is sometimes considered a pollutant. Excessive noise is not good for us. People exposed to loud noise for a long period of time may suffer loss of hearing. Which of the following do you think will create noise? How sounds travel. Sounds travel in the form of waves. As one speaks, the sound waves travel through the air. Sound waves spread out in all directions. They are strongest near the source and get weaker as they move away from it. Most of the sounds that we hear travel through the air. Can sounds also travel through solids and liquids? Look at picture A. The girl is listening to a ticking clock. She can hear the sound of the clock. On picture B, she places her ear on the wooden wall of a room.
She can hear her sister talking with someone. Sound waves travel through the wood. Wood is a solid material. Sound can also travel through liquids. You can hear somebody calling you when you are underwater. However, sounds travel at different speeds in different materials. Sound travels fast through solids because the particles of solids are very close to each other. Sound also travels through liquids like water. However, sound travels slower through liquids than through solids. This is because the particles in liquids are far apart from each other. Sound travels through air too. It travels the slowest through air because the particles in air are farther apart from each other than the particles in liquids. Sounds cannot travel in places where there is no air. Reflection of sound. Let us have this activity. Try shouting your name in a large empty room. What happens to the sound that you hear? Can you describe what you hear? Do you hear the sound of your voice even after you have stopped shouting your name? Why? Sound waves bounce off from different surfaces when you shout in a large empty space. The sound is reflected back or repeated. A repeated sound is called an echo. You can hear an echo when sound is reflected back to its source after striking a hard surface. Look at the picture. Do you know why theaters are lined with draperies? This is because the draperies can absorb most sounds so only very little sound is reflected. Sounds may be absorbed or reflected when they strike an object. Protecting oneself from noise pollution. Always speak in a moderate voice anywhere you are. This means that the voice should not be too loud or too soft. Loud sounds such as the noise of the firecracker or the sound of a jet can damage your ears. Cover your ears when you hear very loud sounds. Avoid places where loud sounds are usually heard like construction sites and beside large speakers in concerts. Make sure that the sound coming from television sets, radios, and portable media players is not too loud. Constant exposure to noise can cause fatigue, headache, irritation, stress, and tension. In some offices or classrooms, Noise absorbers are placed in the ceiling or walls to prevent sound from bouncing back too much.